10 Key Points About Hyponatremia 1. What is hyponatremia? Hyponatremia is defined as a serum sodium level below 135 millimoles per liter. It signifies an imbalance where water in the body is in excess relative to sodium. This imbalance often involves elevated levels of the antidiuretic hormone, which promotes water retention. 2. Hyponatremia Severity The severity of hyponatremia is categorized based on the serum sodium level. Mild 125 to 134 millimoles per liter, moderate 120 to 124 millimoles per liter, and severe less than 120 millimoles per liter. 3. Types of Hyponatremia Hyponatremia is classified into different types based on serum osmolality. Hypoosmolar or hypotonic hyponatremia, the most common type, further categorized into hypovolemic, euvolemic, and hypervolemic. Isoosmolar hyponatremia, also known as pseudohyponatremia, it occurs when the non-aqueous components of serum, like lipids and proteins, are elevated, affecting the measured sodium concentration. Hypertonic hyponatremia occurs when osmotically active particles in the plasma, such as glucose, cause water to shift from the intracellular to the extracellular compartment, diluting the sodium concentration. 4. Causes of hypovolemic hyponatremia Hypovolemic hyponatremia is caused by the loss of both water and sodium from the extracellular fluid. This can be due to renal causes like diuretic use or salt-wasting nephropathy, or extrarenal causes such as vomiting, diarrhea, or sweating. 5. Causes of Euvolemic Hyponatremia The most common cause of euvolemic hyponatremia is the syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone secretion, which leads to increased water retention. Other causes include psychogenic polydipsia, hypotonic intravenous fluid therapy, adrenal insufficiency, and hypothyroidism. 6. Causes of hypervolemic hyponatremia Hypervolemic hyponatremia occurs when there is an increase in both total body sodium and water, but the increase in water is disproportionately greater. This leads to edema or ascites and can be caused by conditions like congestive heart failure, cirrhosis, and nephrotic syndrome. 7. Recognizing Symptoms of Hyponatremia While mild hyponatremia may be asymptomatic, symptoms typically emerge when sodium levels fall below 125 millimoles per liter. These include nausea, vomiting, headache, lethargy confusion, muscle weakness, and in severe cases, seizures and coma. The speed of onset is more important than the absolute level of sodium. 8. Diagnosing hyponatremia Diagnosing hyponatremia involves a thorough history, physical examination, and laboratory investigations. Blood tests should include serum sodium, osmolality, glucose, urea, creatinine, potassium, and sometimes thyroid and adrenal function tests. Urine sodium and osmolality help determine the cause. Low urine sodium below 20 millimoles per liter typically indicates extrarenal fluid loss, such as vomiting, diarrhea, or other non-renal causes of hypovolemia, where the body is conserving sodium to maintain volume status. High urine sodium, above 20 to 30 millimoles per liter, suggests renal loss of sodium, such as with diuretic use, salt-wasting nephropathies, or cortisol deficiency. It is also characteristic of SIADH. 9. Managing hyponatremia Management of hyponatremia depends on the cause, severity, and the presence of symptoms. Treatment options include fluid restriction, diuretics, isotonic saline for volume depletion, oral sodium tablets, and hypertonic saline for severe, symptomatic hyponatremia. 10. Risks of rapid correction Overly rapid correction of chronic hyponatremia can lead to osmotic demyelination syndrome. To prevent this, 
Sodium correction should be gradual, aiming for an increase of 4 to 6 millimoles per liter in the first 24 hours for severe, symptomatic cases. For chronic, symptomatic cases, correction by 10 millimoles per liter per day is recommended. In general, the sodium level should not be corrected faster than 0.5 millimoles per liter per hour unless the patient is seriously symptomatic. Some experts recommend a maximum correction of 8 millimoles per liter per day. Question number one. What is the serum sodium level below, which hyponatremia is defined? The correct answer is C. Hyponatremia is defined as a serum sodium level below 135 millimoles per liter. Question number two. Which of the following is the most important treatment for mildly symptomatic uvolemic hyponatremia caused by SIDH? The correct answer is C. The most important treatment for mildly symptomatic uvolemic hyponatremia caused by SIADH is fluid restriction. Question number three. What is a potential complication of overly rapid correction of chronic hyponatremia? The correct answer is B. A potential complication of overly rapid correction of chronic hyponatremia is osmotic demyelination syndrome, previously called central pontine demyelinosis. Hyponatremia, if corrected too rapidly, may lead to morbidity and mortality due to cerebral edema, seizures, and osmotic demyelination syndrome. Close monitoring of serum sodium levels during treatment is paramount, allowing for timely adjustments in therapy to avoid complications. The rate of sodium correction is as crucial as the correction itself, with overly rapid correction potentially leading to worse outcomes than the hyponatremia itself. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.